And so the weaving technique called pairing obviously involved two rods. They start off from alternate spaces and we weave the rod at the back or on the left if we're weaving to the right. And it weaves over the top of its partner, behind and in front, and comes out the next gap. Then we leave the first one and take the second. And this, in turn, weaves over the top of the partner, behind and in front, and comes out each time moving across one space. And now, in practical terms, Pairing is used on the basis of round and oval baskets. In this situation, I am replacing two old pairing rods with two new ones. And the process is we pull back the old, in this case the butt, replace it with a new butt and weave it into the base. And then we take each rod in turn which weaves over the top of its partner, comes out the next gap. And as you may see here, I am turning the base so that each time I'm working at the top. The, top of the, the bottom of the base is resting on my knee, so I have that support and there's more control involved. And as we said before, our left hand is doing a lot of the holding and controlling work as the right hand does all the weaving. With the pairing, it's good to replace old butts with new butts or old tips with new tips. That's the thin ends and the thick ends. And so I hope you find this pairing video useful and if you subscribe to the Big Green Art YouTube channel there are more weaving techniques coming up as well as other exciting adventures in the world of basket making. See you next time.